We had so many friends whom we benefited with so much. Perhaps online or perhaps in real life. Notice I said online and in real life because online is not necessarily real life. You need to know that. I just received a message a few minutes ago from a sister of mine, meaning my own sister, one mother, one father. <laughs> and she tells me there will come a time, I had to clear that inshallah. She tells me, it's just something to you, some of you might have seen it, there will come a time when YouTube, Facebook and Twitter are all going to unite and create one big time-wasting place which is worth nothing and you know what it will be called? You twit face. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allah protect us. Allah protect us. Allah safeguard us. We don't want to be from amongst those. The point I was making is we have a responsibility even to those whom we interact with online. What did you do to leave a mark on their or in their lives? or to leave them spiritually or religiously or with any form of knowledge more or should I say on a higher level than they were before you came into their lives. What did you do? And in order to get that, you will need to do something about your own life to start with. Some people and you watch their accounts, you know, not to say we sit and watch them, but sometimes it's interesting to look at how people interact. They've said absolutely nothing positive or nothing beneficial throughout their whole chat with people over the last year or two. Nothing beneficial. How did they benefit from you? Wallahi, they will ask you on the day of Qiyamah, you will be asked, how was your relation with X, Y and Z? Only a mature person who understands what productivity is all about and what the responsibility is all about shall be able to convey messages at every opportunity he or she has.